give you a pickle tour here of all our different kinds of pickles. Um, this is the uh, spicy barrel pickle. Um, it's a kosher pickle with some uh, little secrets, uh, crushed red pepper and some, some hot flavoring to give it a little bit of zing, uh, a little bit of heat at the end, uh, just to wet your whistle. Um, next we have our kosher, that's what most people think of as a pickle. Um, that's more of your deli style standard st pickle. And you can see they're much bigger. These are the ones that we actually put on a stick um, to eat right away. That's the half sour. The half sour, you can see, it's a much brighter green. Uh, that's more of a cucumber flavor, much crunchier, cleaner uh, type of pickle. Uh, sweet and sassy is actually in a jar already. They're a sliced okay. pickle, so those are. Uh, Go ahead and it's take basically, it up. It's basically a bread and butter uh, here, uh, which same type of spices that we use in the in the uh, spicy pickle just to get a little zing. So it's sweet and sassy. The sassy is nice. the uh, crushed red pepper. Um, this is the new item. That's the uh, pickled green tomatoes. Uh, we use a green tomato so it's good and crunchy and, and strong. Um, and then that's pickled in our regular kosher fry. Okay. Uh, full sour is a uh, very, very uh, garlicky flavor. Um, they're kind of on the bottom here. You can see we use a little bit smaller of a pickle so the brine really goes through there. Those are garlicky enough to kind of bite your tongue. Mm. And these are the smaller ones, these are the midgets. Um, same type of flavors as what we saw before. They're just smaller, so we can put them in the deli containers to take them. Oh gosh, home. do they look good. Again, you can see that green, fresh, wow. fresh yeah. flavor, yeah. Okay, more uh, bread and butter? Bread and butter is your, your basic sliced pickle. Um, good and sweet, uh, totally different style. Those are sliced. The spicy, again, is just like the barrel pickle, but you can see they're a little bit smaller, again, so you can put them in some good pint pork containers. And then the kosher midget is your standard, uh, more your standard flavor. And you can see they're a little bit smaller also for the white pork containers. All right, now I'm just going to pan back and have a picture of you in the stand. So there's a pickle there, hold one up like a trophy. Well, this is the, uh, the half sour. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Yes, we'll see you. Thanks for coming. Yep. Okay, I'm at Das Pickle House now, and tell us your name and where you're from, please. I'll hold it. My name is Nathan Herzog. I'm from Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Okay, Nathan Herzog from Kutztown, Pennsylvania. It's a nice thing to know that a lot of the people that are here at the festival are actually people who work and live here all year long. You know, we're not just making it up. You guys really do live here. Now, you have a unique stand. You just let me taste the sourest pickle you have, and for my taste bud, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I love that flavor, whatever that is, the brine. Tell us about all the different pickles and items you have. Well, I guess we would call these pickled savory items, right? Uh, yes, yeah, they definitely have a good savory uh, pickled flavor. Um, what you had was the uh, the full sour, which is the heaviest brine. It's the garlic, really heavy garlic flavor. Um, in Jersey and New York, a lot of people call them garlic garlic, but here in Berks County, we call them a full sour. Um, kind of go down from there as far as the, the potency or uh, flavor of the pickle is the, uh, the regular kosher pickle or deli pickle, which is kind of your normal pickle, what most people think of as a pickle. Uh, then we'd have the half sour, which is especially pickle, kind of in between a pickle and a cucumber. It's a lighter brine, uh, much greener uh, color to it, and a much crunchier flavor. And uh, then we also take a, a kosher pickle and spice it with some hot peppers and, and flavoring just to give it a little zing. Uh, so those are the main different kinds. Um, we started doing actually a green tomato that we pickled this year, which has been pretty popular so far. So the green tomato is new this year. I didn't remember seeing it before. When you held that thing up, I thought, oh, I just don't remember seeing this. Yeah, it's been, a, it's been an eye guy. Uh, people are kind of attracted to it. They, we have a, a container out of them, and people come over, and they're not sure if they're eggs or exactly what they are, and we explain their, their pickled green tomatoes, and uh, a lot of people kind of roll their eyes, and a lot of times I kind of say, well, you know, here, try one, and uh, they, they really are fantastic. I'm not a huge tomato person, and I actually really like them, so... So these are tomatoes, you know, like cucumbers. Pickles are cucumbers, okay? A lot of people don't understand this. But pickles are cucumbers, harvested at various times during their growth cycle, different sizes and so forth. So I'm going to guess that your 
pickled green tomatoes are, because it's early in the season, these are tomatoes that haven't begun to get orange or ripen up yet. Right, right. The trick on the using a, the green tomato is that they're, it's a lot harder yet. It, it's not mushy or, or softer like the red tomatoes. So this allows you to, they pickle better, they don't get really mushy, and you can really bite into them. It's almost like, almost feels like biting into an apple in a way, uh, the first bite, until it really crunches in there, so... So a lot of us that have home vegetable gardens get frustrated toward the end of the season. We've tended our crops and the tomatoes in particular, and if they survive the bugs and the blight and all that other kind of stuff, we get some that are good to eat, nice and ripe and orange, and then we have some toward the end of the season that they're just green and we don't know what to do with them. And I hear people that they wrap them up in paper and they save them and until they turn maybe a different color or they eat them green and fry them up. Could you make pickles out of, uh, out of those tomatoes at the end of the season? Um, as, as long as they're still not getting real soft, I mean, they, they might get a little uh, mushy towards the end. But, I mean, any vegetable can be pickled. I mean, everybody thinks pickles is a cucumber, and, and uh, that's not the case. You can, you can pickle almost any vegetable. I mean, that, hence Pennsylvania German chow chow is the classic example. So, so you put them in a basic brine, these green tomatoes, and uh, like a vinegar, salt and pepper, whatever, different herbs? Actually, no vinegar. It's, uh, it's a salt-based brine, uh, coriander, uh, a lot of garlic. Um, the difference between like a garlic or a vinegar pickle, um, a vinegar pickle is usually what you would jar. Uh, these aren't jarred. These are actually what's called a crocked pickle. So they're actually kept cooler, and uh, you don't have to heat them up, which is w the secret to really keeping them crunchy. So it's basically water is the main ingredient there with, and in your seasonings. Water, yeah, water in the seasonings, okay. correct. Well, they are absolutely delicious. Now, do you guys ever experiment making any sweet pickles? Have you ever tried that? We do have bread and butters. Um, we, we don't actually make them here. It's not something that we build, we make, but uh, but we do sell bread and butters. Now, the one thing, we, we take our bread and butters that, that we buy and uh, add some crushed red pepper flakes and some heat and uh, give it a little zing and, and a little, little temperature there at the end, and we call those a sweet and sassy. Sweet and sassy pickle. That sounds great. So, listen, here we are at Das Pickle House at the Kutztown Folk Festival. You can come and buy all these pickles. You can buy them single pickle on a stick. That's what I just had. Or you can actually come and buy a container full of pickles, whatever you like. Do you have, what's the most popular pickle here? People are going to come and try one pickle and they say, which one sells the most that people are most curious about or whatever? Most people get a, a kosher pickle on a stick. Um, but I would recommend, you know, being a little adventurous. We, we have a PA Dutch platter sampler, which, uh, is a midget pickle. It's three different kinds on a stick, so you can try a kosher, you can try a half sour, and you can try a full sour, so you get the full flavor and, and try them all out and experiment. Well, that's a great idea. Thanks very much. No, thank you. Thanks for having me on.